In question number one, you're asked to match the graphs of the three parabolas, A, B, and C, with the following equations. Now, clearly, we're after the turning point format of the quadratic. In these cases, all zero, so we'll see how we can go. Firstly, this one here is of the form of having the turning point at zero, um, negative two. So it's not actually there in the one I've got. It should actually be indicated like so. In the next one, minus 2x squared is a dilation. So that will be for B. And in the next instance, negative x squared, negative x plus 2 all squared. That means we've got a turning point of um, negative 2, 0. And we have the shape like so. So that will correspond with C. I'd now like to take you through question three that sketches that graph from go to woe. Now in this question, the y-intercept is going to be at negative six. When x is zero, y is equal to minus six, or the point zero, negative six. The shape is going to take the normal quadratic type shape, smiley face if you like. Now we need a turning point and we also need to locate the intercepts. I'll do the x-intercepts first. I take a third out as my common factor. So I've got my x-intercepts at x is equal to negative 6 and x is equal to negative 3. Now, to locate the turning points, I'm going to do this by um, completing the square. You could also find it simply by uh, the x value, negative 6 plus 3 over 2, and you'll soon find that gives you uh, negative 3. You get 3 over 2 as your x value, and you can substitute that in. When eventually you work that out, that will end up being, and that will end up being negative 6 and 3 quarters. I note in the answer is negative 6.75. So I can then graph it on that basis. Um, I'll do that. Then I'll come back and show you how we can make use of completing the square, which is a technique we will have to use as we proceed through. And when I sketch my graph, it only has to be approximate. Um, my y-intercept of uh, negative 6 goes there. We've got um, negative 6 here. 3 here, we can label the x-axis, and let's move that up so I can see, and the turning point negative 3 over 2, we can then sketch the graph fully. Now in a moment I'll show you how to locate the turning point by completing the square, which is a skill set we will need to make use of. So as before, I take the third out, and I'm left with x squared plus 3x, close the bracket, minus 6. Halve and square is the coefficient for 3 there. Let's end up with x squared plus 3x plus 3 over 2, all squared, and minus 6 minus a third times 3 over 2 squared. I've got a perfect square of x plus 3 over 2, all squared. And when I sort out the other business, I'll have uh, negative uh, 6 and 3 quarters. Now, when I go through the rest of this question set, 
i'll generally find my turning point by completing this square.